In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding a difference quotient for a rational function. The difference quotient being f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. We're given our f of x as 1 over x plus 6, so we will substitute into the difference quotient starting with f of x plus h means we will take our f of x and replace x with x plus h, so we would have 1 over x plus h plus 6, and then we will subtract f of x, and we already have f of x, that is our 1 over x plus 6, and then divide by h. So our goal here will be to simplify as much as possible, and to simplify I can start by getting a common denominator in the numerator, since we have a complex fraction, our common denominator will require both the x plus h plus 6 and the x plus 6. So on the left-hand fraction, I would need another x plus 6, and I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by that x plus 6. On the right-hand fraction, I would need the x plus h plus 6, Again, multiplying the numerator and the denominator. That will give me my new denominator in the top of x plus 6 times x plus h plus 6. Again, I still have the other h in the bottom. But now in the numerator of the top, from the left-hand side, I have just x plus 6 times 1. So that will be x plus 6. On the right-hand fraction, I'll have to multiply the negative 1 by each term. So a negative 1 times x is a negative x, negative 1 times h is a negative h, and negative 1 times 6 is a negative 6. Now that we have a common denominator in the top, I can simplify by combining like terms, and we can see that the x and the negative x will cancel and we also see that the 6 and the minus 6 will cancel. So I would be left with only the minus h in the numerator. My denominator of x plus 6 times x plus h plus 6. And since we're dividing all of that by h, I can say that it's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over h. And this allows me to see that the h and the h will again cancel. So I'll be left with just a minus 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, the x plus 6 times x plus h plus 6 as my final simplified answer.